Okay, second graders, today you have found that you are probably at MBT9, and that standard for math is all about using um, different strategies to arrive at a math answer. Um, so you can use different ways to get there. Um, there might be several different ways that you can arrive at an answer, and that is okay. So that's what we're gonna take a look at today. All right, so the problem that we're gonna work with today is 48 plus 26, it's a two digit plus a two digit addition problem. The one way that I would maybe attack this problem would be I would look at my ones place and see that there's eight plus six because I'm going to add my ones together first. And so in my head, what I would think, what is eight plus six? And I might use a different strategy to get that answer. And I happen to know that it's 14, but I can't just write my one here next to the ones place because there can only be one digit sitting in that ones place. So I'm gonna carry it over here to my tens place. Um, so now I'm gonna look here at my tens column and see that I have one plus four plus two and I'm gonna decide in my head how I wanna group and add those together. So I'm gonna do four plus one first in my head and that's five. And then I'm gonna do five plus two and that happens to be seven. So then I've arrived at my answer of 74. Okay, so we just talked about a way to arrive at an answer using double digit addition, but there's gonna be another method that we're gonna use and we're gonna break it apart by place value. And so I look here at my first um, number that I'm working with, 48, and I'm gonna take and look at the tens place and see that there's a four sitting there. So that four, as you know, because you've learned, has a value of 40. So I'm gonna write 40 right here, and then I'm gonna do plus, because I'm gonna come over here to my ones place and it has a value of eight in it. And so we've talked about expanded form. That's what I did right here. I took 40 plus eight and broke apart the original 48. And then I'm gonna come down here to my second number in the problem and it's 26. And I'm gonna look at see what's sitting in the tens place and I see that that's a two and I know that it has a value of 20. And then I'm gonna write my plus and I'm gonna look at the ones place and see that there's a six there and then write that down. Again, I've expanded formed the 26 that I had there. So now I can come down and do another addition problem that might be a little easier to add. So eight plus six, in my head, I, I know is 14, okay? And then over here, I can either skip count by tens in my head or I can just know that 40 plus 20, I know that there's zeros here in my ones place, I can put that zero and the four plus two gives me six, so it's 60. And then I have a new addition problem, I have 60 plus 14. But now, I might wanna break it down even a little bit further. So I'm gonna come over here and write 60 plus 14 and so I'm gonna break apart this 14 because um, there's a 10 in that 14. I'm, I'm doing expanded form basically with the 14 and a four to make up that 14. And I still have my 60. So now it's a little easier for me to add that 60 plus 10, giving me 70. Still have that four there, plus four is going to equal 74. So I arrived at the same answer I did with my first method, it was just a different way to get there.